Hey guys, today's tutorial is about how you can warp text to fit into shapes in Affinity Designer version 2. And we are using the new warp feature you find right here for this. And with this you can create um, complex text effects like this for example where you have um, the text shark with some added details with some fins or you can also create some basic text effects where you simply have um, a text written inside a circle or a triangle. We will cover both in this video. And first we are starting with this more complex um, shark text effect. So with this shark warp and I've chosen this cute graphic from freepick.com. But of course you can choose any graphic you want to and simply replicate the steps we will do in this video. Um, the text effect always looks a little bit better if you add some details. That's why I've added those fins to the shark text. And that's the first step we need to do to create this shark text effect. We need to get the um, fins out of this design. So we will um, go right here in the artboard. And the first step is going with this curve outside of our group. So we have it for the um, further procedure of this video. So this is important. This is the outline um, outline of this um, graphic we have. And we can now use this outline to simply select everything and then go with the shape builder tool right here. And then simply zoom in a little bit and go with this one right here. Create a new shape from selected areas or you can also go with plus. So create a new shape from selected areas and remove used areas from original objects. You can also click plus or minus on your keyboard to select plus or minus. We will go then with plus and we will create one shape out of those two. One for this one and one for this one. They are now automatically outside of our group. We can group them um, after we are finished with the other fins. So we now go down, we make one shape out of this outline and one of this shape and one of this shape. And right here also for the outline here, we also have to add this part. So we keep um, the click holding and now move to this right here and release to also select this part, also this shape and this shape clicked once. We are creating not a single um, shape, a single curve out of them. Um, we are creating separate curves because that way we can choose the color afterwards and have um, different colors. So we get this cool um, effect. So it looks more realistic. And for the back fin, we need to first um, um, go with the pen tool to create a helping line. So we first go from here to here and now we go with the node tool and simply move this to fit approximately the um, outline we have right here if it would be um, finished like this. We can now select the move tool and make this bigger by holding down shift and command as well or shift and control if you're a Windows user. We can um, make it bit bigger from the middle point like this for example a little bit smaller like this will do. And now we can again select everything right here. Go with the shape builder tool and create one shape out of the outline. One for this part and one for this part. And now we can delete the rest of the group because we only need the outline and our fins. We can now click backspace, select and backspace of course with the move tool in the layers tab. And now we can group the fins. So we have the back fin selecting all of them and clicking command and G to group or control and G if you're a Windows user. Also this part can be deleted. This was the curve we used to um, help us cut this out. And now those three parts command and G group and those three parts command and G group and also those three parts command and G group. Now we have all of our four fins we want to use with the text so it looks more realistic. And now we need to, um, to fit our text inside this shape we have right here. We start by going with the artistic text tool and typing in 
shark. That's the text we want to fit in, make it a little bit bigger. And choosing a fitting font, in my opinion, the best font you can use is a font which is high, close together from the letters and also bold. So that's why I've chosen League Gothic. If you want to have the letters a little bit closer to each other, you can also go with paragraph right here. Um, adjust the minimal a minimum letter spacing and the maximum letter spacing and then go with the desire to for example minus 10 or 0 is bigger minus 10 is smaller or 10 is um, 10 we have to set up the highest of course if we go with 10 or 20 it gets bigger but you want to go with minus 15 or minus 5 in this case i think this looks good and the next step is going with the move tool then adjusting the size to be um, fitting for our shape. So not too big and not too small, something like this. You will get it from time to time. This will um, fit. And now the next step is going to the context toolbar and going to convert to curves. If your um, screen is big enough you're using, you will see convert to curves directly in the context toolbar. If your screen is too small, you will have those two arrows. You can click to um, see convert to curves, click. And now we have a group. We need to ungroup. So we are using the shortcut command shift and G or control shift and G if you're a Windows user. And now we have every single letter. We now need to adjust them a little bit. So move this one a little bit up. This can stay here, can stay here. Those two can go down a little bit and this one can go down a little bit as well, like this. And the next step is starting with our first letter, then selecting the curve, going right here in the layers tab to warp and clicking on quad. We now need to zoom in and by having snapping activated, we can now select one node, hold down shift to move in a straight line and go like this, like this, um, hold and move to get the shape right here also for the bottom parts sometimes you have to go a little bit over because um, the letters are not exactly ending where the note ends for example for this one and then like this right here top again something like this and adjusting like this till it fits and then adjusting the notes again afterwards so this looks Good, and we can do, then go up with this note and also a little bit with this one. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to adjust and the more time you have, the better it will look like. So for this example, we will go with something like this. This will fit. And we are also holding and moving a little bit to this side to get also this shape right here not too much something like this you want to keep the standard s look right here for our letter something like this and if you're finished this um, in this case the first and the last letter are the most important ones because they define the um, the shape the most so that's why they will take the most of the time so now we can go on with the next one go quad again and move up make our shape and down and down hold on shift again always to move in a straight line that's very helpful we now need to adjust the notes again to have this shape and we can then go up a little bit like this and our next letter we can always adjust afterwards i will showcase this real quick so if we are adjusting a letter like this to fit our shape and also the bottom part like this and we then want to change the adjustment afterwards um, we can do this uh, but only if we haven't converted to curves yet so we haven't done this yet so we can go right here for our um, first letter for example and click right here and then we are automatically back in our um, in our edit mode for the warp and we can change the warp for example like this if we want to and then keep going with our next letter go to warp again quad and move to the top also for 
this part a little bit like this and down right here like this and adjusting the bottom part of our letter and a little bit up also a bit to this side and our last letter we need to adjust to warp like this like this this one will be a little bit tougher again so adjusting right here adjusting right here also going up a little bit with this one and maybe also again getting a little bit of this shape right here something like this so we have this shape i think this looks good um as you can see right here the more time you put in the better it will look like but for now i think this will do as a showcase you can also go up a little bit with this one if you want to like this and that way we are finished with um, adjusting the, our text to fit our shape we can now delete the shape by selecting the shape with the move tool in the layers tab and clicking backspace or the trash can icon or right click delete and now the only um, steps that are left is adjusting our fins right here something like this this may be a little bit higher right here you can then move this one and also to fit our text now we need to use the warp feature for this one again so we're going right here quad and simply making a little bit like this will do and also the bottom parts can stay the same a little bit to the outside so something like this and something like this if it's hard to only go some steps we can deactivate snapping which will help then so like this and that looks good for now we can reactivate snapping and to make all of this look even better we need to adjust the colors and add some little effects like outer shadow but to do so we need to first select all of the letters we've warped and also so also the group we've warped and click convert to curves for the letters for the group as well and then we can also select all of the letters and click on boolean operations on plus on add to create one curve out of them and now adjusting the color of this basic curve to fit with our details so with our fins in this case and also for the bottom fins i will go with the same colors as for the top fins and the back fin so we will go with this color for this part and this color for this part and also right here again this color for the brighter part and for the darker part this color and to make it pop out of the background making it a bit little um, look a little bit more realistic or um, a little bit better we can select everything again and we can go with quick fx go to outer shadow we find outer shadow right here select a fitting color again so again choose the color make it a little bit darker for our shadow something like this and now we're adding a little shadow to our text effect something like this for the outline also going up with the radius something like this a little bit low of the outline and also lowering the opacity till it looks like we want it to look and now we can make some final touches this one this fin should be a little bit lower so something like this i think a little bit lower something like this and this one can also be adjusted something like this and also a bit to this side and that way we are finished with this more complex text effect we can activate snapping again to fit in the middle of our document and the same procedure can be used for any graphic you want to like already said it looks even better if we add some shadow if we um, fit the colors to each other and if we add some little details like the fins right here and if we want to create basic shapes like 
those two right here so like the circle text in the circle we can do this easily with the warp feature again so we will delete those two for the showcase and go right here to create a circle hold down shift to create um, a perfect ellipse so a circle moving in the middle of our document and now we again need to go with the text and we're writing circle again you um, should um, choose a font which fits um, good for this text effect so like already said in my opinion um, the best fonts are the ones which are which have letters which are close to each other but you can also adjust this like already showed um, right here in the paragraph section which have um, a really bold um, font so which are really bold and which are um, really high like the circle right here and like Lee Gothic the font Lee Gothic I'm using then we need to make the text bigger so not too big not too small something like this will do and then going right here again to convert to curves and going with um, we can now leave it as a group for this basic shape we don't need to do this with um, every single letter so we can now already go to boolean operations click on add go right here to warp feature to quad and now again adjusting hold on shift to move to the top we have snapping activated to snap to our circle again for this side as well and move up this part try to stay in the middle of your circle and now we need to adjust our nodes to fit the circle so again this to the outside and a little bit down sometimes you have to do this um, a few times to um, get the shape so also for the bottom nodes like those two also for the left side we can hold and move like this and also for the right side hold and move like this and for the bottom part as well move to the bottom something like this and again adjusting the notes this one a little bit to the left this one a bit a little bit to the right something like this and now moving this more to the inside and as you can see it's not 100 perfect but it will do as a showcase the more time you um you spend the better it will get we can now delete the ellipse and as well as we did with um, this shark text effect we can now choose a cool font for example um, white for this background and add some shadow so we first need to go convert to curves and then we can go to add again to have it as one curve and then we can add some outer shadow with quick fx otherwise we often have some bugs with affinity designer and the warped groups we um, often have the effects applied to the standard group we've used to warp not to the warp um, um, not to the warp at the end so that's why you often have to convert to curves to display the effects correctly so if you're having troubles um, applying um, effects to warped um, text or if it's not displayed right you have to convert your text to curves and then it will um, go as you want to we now can go out of shadow go with some blue tone this one and make it really dark for example something like this and then again set up the offset set up the radius and reduce the opacity a little bit till we like how it looks and that way we've also created um, the warp text into shape effect with basic shapes like circles you can also do this with other shapes and as, as already said with other graphics and that's going to do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye